Hello everyone and welcome to Switch Up. My name is Glenn and today we have a review of new eShop release Uso for you. Many thanks to the developers for this review copy and please remember to get involved and be active in our comment section for a chance to win a digital game each month. With all that said, let's start the review. Yuso is a puzzle game in which you are tasked with clearing each stage of the titular Yuso creatures. Think of them as non-jellified Puyo Puyos if you will. You do this by clicking on a Yuso which is adjacent to Yusos of the same colour. They will then disappear from the game board. Any Yuso that is also touching which was of a different colour will promptly change colour to that of the original Yuso that you touched. The aim is to ensure that you do not end up in a situation where you cannot complete a level as you have left one or more Yusos isolated so now cannot clear them or have Yusos of different colours left so that you cannot chain them together. The game of course quickly ramps things up and new gameplay mechanics are introduced including sleeping Yuso that you will need to hit once to wake them and a second time to clear them as well as things such as colour bombs that will change any adjacent Yuso to their colour after a set number of terms as well as a few other different things. The gameplay is simple and fun. There will be levels that you breeze through and a fair few that will leave you stuck for ages. Perseverance is the key and you need to think about the effects removing one Yuso will have on those around it and whether that was a wise move or not. The game gives you the tools you need to succeed in the shape of a restart button and the rewind button which will take you back one move should you make a mistake. Generally you will find yourself restarting as you will not know exactly where the mistake that led to a level being impossible to clear was made, but the rewind function does come in handy should you be able to identify your mistake such as on this level here. I know that I have successfully cleared the bottom half of the screen so any mistake from this point onward would be exclusive to the top, therefore I can rewind if necessary and ensure victory. The game is split into different planets that you must clear and completing a set amount of levels from one planet will unlock the next even if you have not cleared all of the previous planet's levels. This is useful as it means that should you get stuck you can move on to a new set of levels and attempt to complete the one that stumped you at a later date with a fresh mind. My biggest gripe with the gameplay of Yuso is that it shows its hand a little too soon. What I mean is that the basic concept is simple and enjoyable enough but it adds the other gameplay mechanics very early and some of these make the game a little less fun. The sleeping Yuso in particular made levels more frustrating and are introduced really early on. I must admit I died a little inside every time I finished a level containing sleeping Yuso only to see the next level had them in too. I have no problem with a game becoming increasingly harder by adding new elements but I think a more gradual incline when introducing these would perhaps have been better. Gameplay is solid if unspectacular, ticking all the key boxes for what make a good puzzler and it scores 14 out of 20. As I mentioned in a recent review for another puzzle game called Cubicolor, a strong and interesting gameplay hook is so much more important in a puzzle game than the graphics. But having said that, the graphics do need to be appealing enough to keep you invested while stuck on one puzzle for 10 or 20 minutes at a time. The same can be said for the music. Well let's start with the graphics. As you can see they are simple but do have a certain charm. The main reason for this is the very clever choice of colour. The use of pale, almost pastel type primary and secondary colours is very aesthetically pleasing and complements the simple graphics very well. Whilst the colours are very pleasing, the graphics are a little too simple. The Yuso have faces on them, some smiling, some cross etc, but they could have been animated a little better than this to give them a little bit more personality and bring them to life. The music is equally as simple and is quite jolly to listen to. It doesn't become annoying which is essential in a puzzle game, although the game does give you the option to turn up or down the music and the sound effects separately which is a nice touch. It's also nice that each planet has its own theme, so you will hear a few different compositions throughout the game.
I particularly like this one as it reminds me of something you might have heard in Mario Paint on the Super Nintendo. Graphics receive 14 out of 20 and the music receives 12 out of 20. The controls for Yuso are very easy to get used to and work very well. You move your cursor with the D-pad or the left stick and press A to interact with the Yuso. Pressing B rewinds one move and X restarts the level. Pressing the minus button takes you back to the menu screen. The game can also be used using the touch screen and this works very well. It's very responsive and the Yuso are of a decent size so that you can click on the one that you want with relative ease. The rewind and restart options are accessed by using the on-screen buttons when playing using touchscreen controls. I found myself using the touchscreen whenever playing in handheld as it works so well. There are no options for motion controls which feels like it could have been implemented and would have worked quite well. But the inclusion of both buttons and touch controls is more than adequate enough. Controls receive 17 out of 20. The game costs £5.99 or $7.99. It contains over 80 levels, although there is no grading system. You either complete a level or you don't. Had the game recorded how many tries a level took you, or how many restarts or rewinds you needed, it may have given you just a little more incentive to replay. I always feel that any puzzle game that does not have an arcade or an endless mode, because its gameplay doesn't warrant it, at least needs to challenge you to come back and try again somehow. Yuso doesn't quite manage to achieve this, and value receives 13 out of 20. To conclude, Yuso is a decent puzzle game with a fair amount of content and an interesting gameplay mechanic. I do feel that the difficulty should have ramped up a little slower, just to ease you in a bit more naturally, but it doesn't really ruin the game at all. The game is bright and cheerful which may keep you invested when you are starting to feel like pulling your hair out over a particular puzzle, and being able to skip puzzles at certain times will help with this too. Yuso receives a switch up score of 70%. Thank you as always for watching, please remember to leave a like if you like what you've just watched and consider subscribing if you haven't already for all things Switch all the time here at Switch Up and as always, happy gaming.